Welcome to the second video of this Create a Blog series by Shout Me Loud. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of Bluehost dashboard. Now, Bluehost offers a well-optimized dashboard for the WordPress users, and you can do a lot of things. On the back end, there is also cPanel, which is great if you want to add more FTP users, especially when you hire a designer. Those are the things you would be needing. So this is a quick overview that will give you an idea of the things you can do with the Bluehost dashboard. In the third and the fourth video, it's going to get more interesting. So let's jump right to the second video. All right, guys, so far we have learned how to buy web hosting from Bluehost and how to install WordPress. The interesting thing is like, we don't really need to do much on Bluehost when installing WordPress because it auto install WordPress, which is a great thing. Now, so here is the dashboard. It took about few hours for them to auto install WordPress. I'm not sure what was the issue, but anyways, now we are here. The WordPress is installed. This is your bluehost.com login dashboard. Click on login to WordPress and here it is. It will automatically log into your WordPress dashboard. And from here you can make all those changes. So this is the first screen which you see when you're setting up WordPress on a Bluehost hosting. It asks you welcome WordPress, what kind of site we help you set up. If you want, you can use their assistance or you can simply click on I don't need help. Now, if you are watching all my videos or reading my ebook or reading it on Shout University, simply click on I don't need help. And let's get rid of this. Right, so there are a few things that we need to do after installing WordPress. Now, one thing which you need to know about WordPress on Bluehost is they install few of the plugins by default. For example, Optin Monster plugin is something that does not come bundled with WordPress otherwise, but they have partnership with Optin Monster, WP Forms. So these plugins are installed by default. Now you can simply get rid of all this plugin by clicking on deactivate. However, I must say that Optin Monster, WP Forms, Jetpack are three very useful plugins. For now, let's just simply deactivate them. Let's go ahead and have a look at Bluehost dashboard because this is going to be very useful for everyone. Now, you can actually browse WordPress theme plugin and many other services directly from Bluehost dashboard. Now, click on my sites. This is where if you are having more sites on Bluehost, like if you have a plus package or prime package, you can install unlimited number of WordPress website. Now, in this case, I only have one website installed. Clicking on login to WordPress will take me to the WordPress dashboard or I can click on manage site. And this is where all the magic happens. So Bluehost has revamped their complete dashboard to make it WordPress centric, which is pretty amazing. And I really like it. And then here you can configure users, you can configure backups. So I've taken this code guard backup plan, which I really don't need it. So simply I'll be changing this plan. I'll be asking them to cancel this code guard backup add on. So you may not see it because in my initial video, I asked you not to go for this. You can actually use free plugins for taking WordPress backup. Now Bluehost also offers inbuilt caching, which is something new, which was not there until last year. And this is something which I'm seeing for the first time. So this is going to be pretty great, especially for the novice user who don't want to get into the mumble jumble of configuring the caching plugin. You can configure everything right from here. So there is an option to purge all caching from your dashboard. So this is something which you might find useful. Then this is where the really useful stuff comes in. So Bluehost offer free SSL certificate, which is actually very important because Google has made it clear that if you won't use SSL at the URL part, they will show your site as not secure, which is not great for your blog reputation or your website reputation. So this free SSL certificate is something which is one of the feature that I recommend Bluehost to everyone. It saves a lot of money and a lot of hassle in longer run. So in the another video, I'll show you how to activate free SSL certificate. Now click on settings and here you can configure a few things which are very useful. So let it load. You can enable or disable automatic updates. So I'll enable the WordPress core plugin and theme. I would like to update manually. Now the content revision. So basically what happens when you edit a blog post, let's say you edit a blog post for 10 times, the WordPress create a revision of all these blog posts and that actually increases the size of your database, which is not really required. So the minimum they have is five. I usually keep it to three on my blog, but five is also okay. Now empty my trash every week. This is also useful. So it basically purge everything on the trash every one week. So it kind of saves your manual work. Coming soon page, I can disable this. 
Now you can disable comments for old posts. I don't like to do that since I have a blog. I usually keep it off. Close comment after 28 days. This is not valid in this case. Display 20 comments per page. Now all this feature can also be configured from WordPress settings. But in case if you want to configure from here, you are more than welcome. In case if you want to delete the site, you want to delete the WordPress installation, you can do it from here as well. Now there are a few other things which are there like marketplace. You can buy WordPress themes, few add-ons, some of the services right from here, depending whatever you need. This is something which many of you may need or may not need. So depending on your requirement, keep browsing, see if something that you really needed and you can get it from here. You can also configure free email using Bluehost. I will share about that in the upcoming videos. When you're using Bluehost dashboard, you can also access their old file manager. Now, many of you who are accustomed with the cPanel, Bluehost is actually using cPanel and whatever you're seeing at the top of it is something that's custom built. Now you can click on advanced and here you will be able to access your cPanel and many of you who are moving from any other web hosting like HostGator, SiteGround, InMotion Hosting or any other. Even if you are using Bluehost from the past few years, here you can access all the cPanel features. So I think this is going to be very useful for many of you who are wondering what happened to the Bluehost dashboard. So everything is right there. They have revamped the dashboard to give you much better experience. And I believe like it's actually pretty amazing of what they have done so far. And with that, we have learned a few things. Like we have learned how to buy hosting from Bluehost. We have learned how to install WordPress. And I've also given you a complete demonstration of Bluehost new dashboard and panel. I hope you enjoyed the quick video. Now the third part, I'll show you how to enable the caching. And in the fourth part, you will learn how to enable the SSL certificate. I hope you're enjoying this video series. If it's helping you to tell your friends and family about this video series, it will help them to create a blog as well. See you in the next video.